Whoa, if you clicked on this video, then you probably want to know how to do this. But using your own games. So the things that you're gonna need to do this are a Wii with homebrew installed, an SD card or USB flash drive, and of course a Wii game. Okay, the first thing you'll need is Clean Rip. That's an app you're gonna use on your Wii to rip the game. So go to the link in, link in the description and download the Clean Rip version 2.2.zip. Just download it here and then you open it extract the apps folder and go in apps folder next it next up get your SD card from your Wii so next up you get your SD card insert in your PC and grab the clean bit folder and drag and drop it in the apps folder on your on your SD card so that it will show up in the homebrew channel. Right next up, we can take out the SD card and then we'll, uh, I'll show you how to actually rip the game. Alright, this is my room, this is my Wii U. I'm just gonna start the homebrew browser. Homebrew browser, homebrew channel, what the? <laughs> okay. So now we're here. Open up Clean Rip. You just, if you follow the steps, you would put it in your apps folder. So it should be right there. And yeah. Uh, after that, you're gonna have to choose if you're gonna download to the rip to the USB or SD card. I choose the USB, and mine is mine is formatted to FAT32, so I will choose FAT format. Insert USB stick, insert a GameCube or Wii disc. Well, this is a Wii U, so a GameCube disc, GameCube disc wouldn't work, but this will also work with GameCube discs if you have a normal Wii. So I'm just gonna dump Pikmin 2 because I really like that game and I don't have it on my SSD yet. So putting the disc in. Yup, this is post commentary because my phone's mic sucks. So here there will come a few settings that will be important. Alright, here. Dual layer. Um, just select no. The only games that I know ha that have dual layer are Smash Bros. Brawl and Metroid Prime Trilogy. And that's I only own Metroid Prime. Chunk size set to max. Add new device per chunk. Uh, select no. Uh, that will ask you to rem if you want to rem remember the settings and just choose whatever you want. This will take a while, like 20 minutes, but yeah, that done in like five seconds because haha, speed up. But alright, that was just that was the ripping process, and then uh, you have the game kind of on your SD card or your USB stick. As you can see, I chose a USB stick. Okay, but let's just go back to my laptop to show you the final steps. Okay, so when you stick your thingy wherever you copied the wherever you dumped the files on in your PC or something then you have this well um, you have the game the ISO and a text file which just gives you information that's not what I wanted oh no and a text file which just gives you information so yeah Pikmin 2 version 1 I, I, I don't know 1296 seconds wow okay so it is in part it the uh, the ISO as you can see as you can see the ISO is in parts while you can just use this in dolphin it it will play just fine uh just grab dolphin for you if you just drag and drop part zero it will play just fine it'll work but I don't really like it for multiple files so we are gonna um combine these two ISOs into one. How are we gonna do that? Well first what I'm gonna do is already copy this to my SSD where I where I keep all my dumped games. So I'll just copy this here. Okay now that that's done we have 
the two ISOs. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna have to open the command line. Um, how to do it? You just click on the on the on the on the bar here. Type in command cmd, and then you have the command line in the directory where you want it. So let's open it here. All right. What you're gonna have to do is write this command copy slash b space and then the code then just the name of the two ISOs you want to combine just the name so um, the first part as you can see is r 92 p o one dot part zero dot iso plus r 92 p o one dot part one dot iso and then the name that you want the the full combined iso to have so i'm just going to call it pikmin 2 dot iso press enter and it'll copy as you can see it's already here but it's uh list it doesn't show the the size anymore okay uh it shows here now okay now it's done now it's four point thirty seven um gigabytes because that's how big a Wii game is and uh yeah so now you can just use this in dolphin haha -ha, you did it you 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 got your your dumped game in dolphin well four point seven gigs is a lot of space so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open dolphin we're gonna add the path that where this thing is located it's in here test there we go you have pikmin 2 and pikmin 2 i'm just gonna have to delete these two because we don't need them anymore all right pikmin 2.iso so 4.7 gigs low space you can convert the file to an rvz what's that it's it, it takes up less space <laughs> that's the whole thing and that's why that's the actual reason why why I want to combine the ISOs so that I can convert them to RVZ, which takes up way less space. As you can see, converting su su successfully converts converted one image. Here, there's only two gigs, not not really a lot of gone, but still almost two gigs gone, more than two gigs. I don't know, but uh, what you can also do, honestly. You don't really have to type in the whole code if you find that annoying. You can just call this. Um, depends on which one, which one is. Okay, you can also just call this one. That's not what I wanted. You can also just call this one one dot iso. Two dot iso. Uh, typing commands and then do the same thing and then. Uh, two dot ISO, and then you can just do the same thing. This will take a lot longer because this is on just this is just on a USB stick, so it will take a lot longer to copy it, combine it. But yeah, that'll also work. Just rename it if you find it easier than to type the whole game ID in. But yeah, and there you have it. There you have your. Um yeah there if you own your own Wii game dumped to be able to use it Dolphin. Ta da you're sure Wii game. Well um so it was my very uh I hope I explained it well, my kind of okay tutorial how to show how to um dump your own Wii games. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video or found it helpful. Make sure to like and, and or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, then I'll see you guys uh, on another video. Maybe, maybe not. Alright. Bye-bye.